Hello, engineers. What are those points that we have to take care before selecting engineering as a career? There is many points we must consider before selecting engineering as our career. Choosing engineering as a career is a significant decision that is requires careful considerations. And uh, here I'm going to list out five points before selecting engineering as a career. So number one point is that interest and passion. Pressures, external pressures may be one of the reasons they, most of the people will be selecting engineering as a career. So before pursuing engineer, access your genuine interest and passion for that field. Engineering involves solving complex problems, critical thinking and creativity. And if you have a natural curiosity about how things works and a passion for applying scientific principles to real world challenges, engineering could be a good fit. That's why your interest and your passion is very important before getting into the engineering field. So that is the number one thing that you have to note that you are you have a genuine interest from your heart that this kind of profession is suitable to you and you are not doing it because of the compulsion from outside world that is the number one point that you have to note before selecting engineering as a career the second point is that you must also know about different specialization so understanding of specialization is very important because engineering is a broad subject it have different branches and different topics and field of specialization is available. Before getting into the engineering field, you must understand what all options are available. Because engineering is a broad field with various specialization, such as civil, mechanical, electrical, computer, aerospace, and more like that. And research and understand the different engineering disciplines to find the one that align with your interests and career goals. Each specialization has its unique aspects and uh, choosing the right one is crucial for long-term satisfaction. So special, uh, taking the right kind of specialization also is part of your uh, interest and your passion for a particular field or particular niche. So <clears throat> you have to have a fair understanding about the different options are available. So you have to uh, select from that the right kind of option that which suitable to your interest, suitable to your requirement. So that is the second point that we have to note. And third thing is that academic preparedness because so we have to work out a lot of mathematics, physics, chemistry, like that subject. So engineering programs are academically very demanding. You have to assess your academic strength and interest in subjects like maths, physics, chemistry, and uh, these are fundamental to most of the engineering. So you should be uh, committed to learn all those things uh, for rigorous class timings and coursework you have to spend a lot a lot of time in for your projects and your labs and all those kind of things so uh, a committed learning uh, is required for engineering subjects so if you are going to take engineering as a career or a profession you must be uh, dedicated to learn and uh, actually the basic subjects like mathematics physics and chemistry the fundamental subject so you should be ready to start from the then the other point is that career opportunities and job market. The job market and career opportunities in the specific engineering field you are considering and some of the engineering disciplines may have higher demand than others and regional variations can also impact the job prospects. So understanding the potential career path and growth opportunities in your chosen field will help you to make an informed decision. So uh, you have to explore various opportunities available on this particular field or selected topics or the specialization what you do in that engineering uh, in the engineering field so that also will help you have the right kind of career so that can make you able to earn uh, from after learning so that is the one of the other important thing is is to explore the opportunities and job market before getting into the uh, study of a particular subject then other one is uh, lifelong learning and adaptability lifelong learning and adaptability is very important because engineering is a dynamic field that continuously evolves with the technical advancements so be prepared for a lifelong learning journey and stay updated on new technologies and methodologies because the technology is changing so fast so new new theorems new new technologies are coming up so we should be adaptable to these kind of changes so the adaptability is crucial as you may need to switch between different roles or specialization during your career. Consider if you are open to continuous learning 
and staying current with the industrial fields. So that is the most important things of uh, learning that there may be sudden changes in some technologies. Some technologies becomes obsolete. Some technologies become updated so fast. So you may have to change uh, according to the uh, developments. And also we should uh, able to understand what all the trends are available in the market or, or what all the industrial trends is there. So we should able to adapt to those kind of changes. So this point of lifelong learning is very important for engineers and also faster learning also very important because the technology is changing so fast. So remember that while these points provide a general guidelines uh, and personal factors uh, such as uh, individual strengths and values and long term goals should also play a significant role in your decision that which uh, whether you have to go for the engineering and or not. So take time to reflect your interests, research thoroughly. And if possible, seek guidance from professionals in the engineering field or academic advisors. So uh, selecting engineering topics should be from your heart, properly listing out, uh, identifying your passion and interest, and also knowing the different kind of specializations that's available in that particular topic uh, in the engineering field. Also by understanding different career opportunities that's available using that particular subject or particular selecting that particular topics that also you have to explore and then uh, you, sh you should be ready to learn and also a continuous learning is very important so you have to because the technology is changing so fast even though you completed the learning from the engineering colleges when you come out in the job you should be ready to look for the, what all the industry trends are happening how the technology is changing so fast so you must ready to learn fast and update yourself fast with those kind of songs. So this, these are the few points that uh, uh, you have to uh, take in your mind before uh, getting to engineering. Hi, my name is Pradeep Kumar Kepi. I am the engineer's growth coach. I help engineers to achieve high income growth and happy living with a purpose in their life. In this regard, I help engineers to find and uh, develop their engineering expertise and also to communicate to the world about their expertise and also to monetize on their expertise by getting into the right kind of opportunities or by creating new opportunities. Look at the details for my webinar. So thank you very much. See you again.